Dear students, I am Dr. K. M. Kadireshan, Director, Center for Graph Theory, Mayanadar Janaki M. Mall College, Svagasi. To study connected spaces and compact spaces, we want some basic concepts in topology. Let us discuss the needed basic concepts one by one. The first one is open sets and closed sets. If X comma tau is a topological space and if A is a member of tau, then A is called an open set. So any element of tau is called an open set. On the other hand, a set is to be closed if its complement is open. That is, if x minus a belongs to tau, then we say that the set a is closed. For example, consider the topological space x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Here the topology is pi x singleton 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Clearly, this tau is a topology on x. Here we see that 1 comma 2 is a member of tau, therefore 1 comma tau is an open set. Now consider the set singleton 4. Its complement x minus singleton 4 is 1, 2, 3. And this 1, 2, 3 is a member of tau. That is the complement of singleton 4 is open. Therefore singleton 4 is a closed set. The next concept is interior of a set. Suppose A is a subset of a topological space. Now the first question is, does there exist an open set completely contained in A? Yes, at least empty set is an open set contained in A. So we collect all such open sets contained in A and we find the union of all open sets contained in A. That union is called the interior of A. Since this interior of A is the union of open sets contained in A, the union is also an open set. So interior of A is an open set. Since it is the union of all open sets contained in A, it is the largest open set contained in A. So equivalently, interior of A is the largest open set contained in A. For example, take x is equal to A, B, C, D, E. Tau is equal to pi x singleton A, C, D, A, C, D, A, C, D, E. Clearly, this tau is a topology on x. Now take A is equal to B, C, D and B equal to B, comma C. Let us find interior of A. First, we collect open sets which are contained in this A is equal to B, C, D. Now, pi is an open set which is contained in A. X is an open set but which is not contained in A. Singleton A is an open set but which is not contained in A. C comma D is an open set which is contained in this A. So, we consider pi and C comma D. And all are, these two open sets are open but they are not contained in A. So, the only open sets which are contained in A are pi and C comma D. So the union of these two sets is C comma D and this set is called the interior of A. And what about interior of B? Of course, we can find at least one open set contained in B. Empty set is an open set contained in B. X is open but not contained in B. Singleton A is open but not contained in the set B. C comma D is open but which is not contained in this set B comma C. A C D is not contained in B C. A C D is also not contained in B C. So the only open set contained in B is empty set. Therefore the interior of B is empty. So in this way we define the interior of a set. The next concept is closure of a set. In a <coughs> topological space X we consider a subset A of X. Now the question is, does there exist a closed set containing A? Certainly exists a closed set containing A. So we can find at least one closed set 
containing a find all such closed sets containing a then we find the intersection of all closed sets containing a that set is denoted by cl of a that is the closure of a so closure of a is the intersection of all closed sets containing a since it is the intersection of closed sets this set is also closed so a closure is a closed set since we consider closed sets containing a the intersection is also a closed set containing a so a closure is a closed set containing a as it is the intersection of all such closed sets it is the smallest closed set containing a so equivalently a bar is the smallest closed set containing a for example consider this topological space x is equal to a b c d e and tau is equal to pi x singleton a c d a c d a c d e clearly this tau is a topology on x take a is equal to singleton e let us find the closure of this set to find the closure of a set first we list out all closed sets the closed sets of this topological space are x because it is the complement of pi and corresponding to this x the complement is pi corresponding to this a we get the complement b c d e so in this way we write down all the closed sets that is the complements of the sets in tau so we have a list of closed sets now among these closed sets find the closed sets containing singleton d so x is a closed set containing d and this b c d e is a closed set containing d even though this a b e is a closed set it is not a closed set containing singleton d so there are only two closed sets containing a namely x and b c d e and their intersection is b c d e this is the closure of the set a now what about uh, b is equal to a comma c here the closure closure of b equal to x because among the closed sets x is the closed set containing b empty set even though it is a closed set it not contain b b c d e it is not even though it is closed it does not contain b so in this way x is the only closed set containing b so the intersection of all closed sets containing b is x itself so the closure of b is equal to x in this way we define the closure of a set for example here consider a topological space x and a is an arbitrary set and the interior of a is the largest to open set contained in a so this interior of a is a subset of a and the other hand a bar is the smallest to closed set contained in a so this a bar is a closed set containing a so your a lies between interior of a and a bar thus we get the inclusion interior of a is contained in a, a which is contained in a closure the next concept is neighborhood if u is an open set con <laughs> containing x then u is called a neighborhood of x so a neighborhood of a point is any open set containing that point is called a neighborhood for example in this topological space uh, a c d e is a neighborhood because a c d e is a, is an open set containing the point c so a c d e is a neighborhood of this point c note that a b c is not a neighborhood of c even though it contains c this a b c is not a member of this tau it is not open so a b c is not a neighborhood of c also a c d a c d is a set containing c c is a member so a c d is a set containing c but a c d is not sorry a c d is not a neighborhood of b because b is not a member of this a c d even though a c d is an open set it does not contain the point b so it is not a neighborhood of b next concept is limit point of a set suppose a is a subset of a topological space x and x is your point in x x is x need not be a point of a x is a point in the topological space 
We say that x is a limit point of a if every neighborhood of x intercepts a in some point other than x itself. So to check whether x is a limit point of a or not, first consider all neighborhoods of x. Each neighborhood must intercept a. In addition, in this intersection, you must be able to find a point other than x. Then only we can say that x is a limit point of the set a. The set of all limit points of the set is denoted by a dash. For example, consider this topological space. Here we take a is equal to a comma c. Then what about a dash? What are the limit points? First consider a. Consider the point a. And the corresponding to a singleton a is a neighborhood. Even though this singleton a intercepts a, in this intersection a is only a is the only common point. So in the intersection we expect another point, another point other than a. But singleton a intercepts a only in the point a. So this a is not a limit point. What about b? 